You know it's a boy DJ Chaddy and I'm back again. People, walk on. I hope everybody good. I hope everybody alright. Say so for the first time you yeah, check out the Chaddy Murray TV, don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button and turn on post notification. So anytime I upload videos like these, you yeah, definitely are going to be the first to know. In this video, we have three topics to discuss. The first topic we are going to take a look at is how Dexter Dops a fierce racial discrimination overseas. Then we're going to look at how the police shut down a water party in Jerusalem. And for the last topic, it's kind of a serious topic, you know. MP under investigation for a video that has been making its round on social media where clearly you can see a man beating a female. <laughs> They must say how the MP a beating woman. People, stick around for that. Me know who no don't want to miss that. Just in case you're wondering who took those beautiful shots from above. Yeah man, a year is truly with him thrown. <laughs> and that video was captured in Port Antonio, Portland. Check it out now. Yeah, yeah. Chaddy Murray, I'm your BS fan. What a vibes! What a vibes! Chaddy Murray TV! For all the vlogs and recent update, mailing Chaddy Murray, Bototum, Bush, Yaksa said that. So, people, Dexter Dabs run into his fair share of racial discrimination. Today, Dexter Dabs post a video with the caption I don't put down people nor talk bad about them. In all honesty, I would much rather say nothing. But sometimes when you don't say anything about the things that truly matter, the foolishness don't stop. Hashtag rock bar is a nice spot that I would have recommend to anyone. But as of yesterday, them get bench. Clean up your racist stuff, blood. Until then, I'm black and proud. So F y'all straight up. F rock bar never again. Races sissy. I ain't know what say. I know sissy him say, but me just a try pretty it up. At rock bar, here's some promotion. F faces. Jano. It look like Dexter Dabs well, well, well upset. So Dexter Dabs attach that caption to this video. I'm a person. But me have to do this. I'm just the biggest racist act. In my life, never see another racist act so big yet in my life. Switch for me see that. A place named Rock Bar in a Fort Lauderdale. Never see nothing so racist in my life ever. Right, that's so. up. Rock Bar, Fort Lauderdale. See that? Well, Rock Bar did reply to Dexter Dops, and Dexter Dops did share what Rock Bar said. So, in another post that Dexter Dabs made, Dexter Dabs screenshotted the comment that Rock Bar, I guess Rock Bar try to clean up them Akara try to respond. So, we are going to read what that comment say. At Dexter Dabs, it's a shame you would use your celebrity to stir such outrage and hate speech. All that was asked of you was to show your ID at the door to enter. Like every other patron coming through our security slash police detail line. Had you simply complied, this whole situation could have been avoided. We are a place of business. Race, religion, politics or personal belief does not come into question of any guest visiting our establishment. You know very well what transpired. And that your video slash statements are now only contributing to divide. And people, it never stopped there. Remember, I tell you, say, Dexter Dabs repost this on his page. Repost the comment, alright? So Dexter Dabs captioned that post by saying, You needed ID for me to enter and use the restroom. When you had my credit card and served me liquor for two plus hours, Make it make sense. I stand by my statement. So people, tell me what you think about, you know, this whole altercation 
Tell me what you think about that in the comment section. I mentioned this to one of my friends and the first thing she said at that for do we black people because we don't stick to black establishment. If Dexter Dabs did go in our black establishment now, they would you know, get them racial discrimination here. But tell me what you think about that in the comment section below. We're moving on. Dovey Magnum, big up yourself. Look like a sharpshooter. <laughs> but Dovey Magnum, I have a few pointers to give you. Dovey, when you have a loaded gun in your hand, you must know what you do with it. After you hit the target, you point the gun down at your foot. You know, say the gun could have gone off and shot off them fat leg there. <laughs> and then before you take your shot, you actually put the gun behind you and from the sound of it it sound like say a crowd the behind you so obviously probably you point the gun at a crowd that was behind you Dovey, just be more careful next time all right mama so people this was the scene of a water party kept in jews land and this is before the police come carry it And people, please be reminded that this was during a lockdown. So after them wet up each other like wet rat, this happened. Police up on run! Yeah. Got things with a speed like lightning, silent, frightening. Now give no chance for the boys advance. My sleep and response, damn much is six pants, that bad that mighty. Police them say police, me nah run. Me nah run, them say police, me nah run. I swear to people, get to life nice. I'm not telling a lie. Anyway, DSP Andrew Johnson had this to say about the whole water war situation. If I exhibited by these people who decided to engage in a childlike game of water war, which not only is a blatant disregard for the law, but also expresses social selfishness relative to their community and the effects their action may have in the spread of the COVID virus. The police will continue to intervene and prosecute them to the fullest extent allowed by the law. DSP Johnson, with all due respect, we know the COVID thing, they on the rise and them thing there, but when the people them have some fun here, yeah, it's within their community. So anything I go on in them community, they might keep it within. You see me? And at the end of the day, stuff like this, it's better than if you walk around and kill people or rob people and them thing there, rape women and them thing there. Anyway. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. So people, the male that's seen in that video hitting a female is a member of parliament. Janua, I can't believe. He's a MP, he's a politician, alright? And I hear that he's of the Jamaica Labour Party side. And I won't tell you that he's from Westmoreland. Me nah tell you. Mm -mm. Me nah tell you. Matter of fact, I'm not even going to call the brother. You see me? We are staying on the right trust part. I hope you get it. We are staying right and not left. Mm -hmm. Right. All right. <laughs> anyway, let me read this article from Gleena. Police investigating a video showing a confrontation allegedly involving an MP, aka Member of Parliament. Gender and Culture Minister Olivia Grange has condemned a video showing a violent confrontation between a man and a woman, which allegedly involves a Member of Parliament. The video has been circulating on social media. Now people, we are going to read what Olivia Bobsy Grange had to say about the whole video. And people, this is a statement she made on her Instagram. Minister Grange said she was deeply disturbed 
by the video and the allegation that a member of parliament was involved. Minister Grange has discussed the video with the Minister of National Security, the Honorable Dr. Aris Chang, who has asked the police to investigate the matter. Minister Grange said, The government is firmly against acts of violence. This video is deeply disturbing and completely unacceptable. We cannot condone any act of gender-based or family violence. We cannot turn a blind eye. I keep saying that we can end the violence, but it requires all of us to end the violence. And that means that we each have a role to play in ending the violence. We have to intervene in what we know happens next door and we have to make a report. We will continue with our anti-gender-based violence campaign as we have to develop a mindset and practice in Jamaica that there is no excuse for abuse. People who don't know them social media platform here work. I will not upload the full video in this video. But you can always check my Instagram. I go upload it in my Instagram. Alright, so people look around. I go leave a link to my Instagram. And what I have, I go leave a link to the direct video. So you just click it and go watch the full video. The video is about 5 minutes long. And I tell you people, it is, it is definitely disturbing. Alright, but you go and go check it out. Can you know say Channel More TV a burn out them people here? A burn out woman beater, a burn out all violence against women. And more will ever stand up by that. Alright? So you can go and go check it out. And we now use him. As we say, him fought from Dunga West allegedly. <laughs> and who uh, know no, who know, 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 know. But I naga make reference to his name until it come out in our media. I don't want to pick up no soup about ya. You see me? But I could keep on the right quote unquote righteous part. Alright, I hope you get it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a boy DJ Chaddy and don't forget to check me out on Instagram at I am DJ Chaddy so that's at I am DJ C H A D D Y and don't forget to leave a like on this video and comment in the comment section and let me know what you think about the topics we discussed today. It's a boy DJ Chaddy and guess what? A one way and any other way, the wrong way. Alright, stay safe.